aquí ya!
The gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putain! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. What's this? His petty larceny, the extent of your ambition. Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. He's ours! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. Unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. 
beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Pas vraiment. Pourquoi? Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door? <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. Should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and, I'm told, proceeding with exceptional ease thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. December 23rd, 2012. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, 
Just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, <laughs> it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. I am not sure I can keep this up, you know? This job is well below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. Oi. Where are you going? The market? No, I. My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Shit. Wake up, can we? Start about. He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Call mine honor. Let me know if you find anything.
odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound, deep into matter, until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. Shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen it like before, glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, oh, right, I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only... You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. something else just here. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur Ducasse was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of Ducasse, wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. 
Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Leave me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Have a moment. 
I'll be needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster I have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. Talking to an old tar, Captain. What do you be needing today, then? Another time. Spare me your jugs, just a wee bit. Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the jackal. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers. It might come in useful. Decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think.
Captain has the helm. Today, Captain, it's a fine day for any kind of mis- What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set the course for Tulu.
Jesus, kid. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. Blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. My mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, I. But it does not command us to act or submit, only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. You parrot the world. Ah! The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. Like a capstan. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. Still drawing breath? Enough to curse you with, kid. Treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll do. How's that? Well, I'm taking you to see this in your head right round. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself.
It's this it, then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. Pictures carved on them. There's pictures carved on the floor as well. Not of the same sort. There's a correspondence, then. But what? Those storms are cavalry. Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. 
Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention. And take fewer lives. on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? That's to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? They're pulling it out of the ground, aren't they? Thanks, but no forgiveness. Megan perish. If this ever happens again.
I am diseased to these sleepers. Messy. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lawrence Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Aye. I'll show you.
I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? Couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close. But not quite. Here we are. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. What will this effort gain me? Respect for a start. ...from the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough... ...there's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort... ...to find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? Well, this is my home for now. Italia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You fallen in love? <laughs> With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? We was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you've cultivated? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a massive gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, hitching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Now, uh, where can a man find a bit of rough? Do you know what I mean?
Shazam! We ride the wind for all she's worth! Starboard, Kevin! Some rich cargo here, sir. So, what'll you do with your share of the gold we take from Governor Torres? Return to Africa, the prince among men. I cannot return to a place I've never been. I was born in Trinidad, a slave from my first breath. Ah. But wouldn't you feel, I don't know, more welcome there? As you might feel more welcome in Paris. Fair point. <laughs> with this skin and this voice, where can I go in the world and feel at ease? This country here is my best chance. This country called Jackdaw, where I know the names of all citizens and they know mine, and we work together. Not always out of love, but to keep our country afloat. I understand thee. Let's take her then. For the citizens of Jackdaw!
Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kimmer, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? Sake. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. And you hold off till he appears. The Sage is here. Aye. And Prince is leading us straight to him. All right, Jesus. Stay. Robert's fellow to me in November of 1715. <laughs> ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time, you know. None called me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. Churches in Kingston. Have the English at last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith? Ha! Convert them? God knows, Taurus. There's none here so foolish as that. English? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it? We are nearly there. Respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and 
Virtue is nothing else. Virtue? Oh, Taurus. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable condition. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. There's stories about you, Trusha. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family. A long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money and not enough years. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. It wasn't until many years after that. It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a farceer. Profit or nature. Capital. Honor court is more enjoyable than honor one, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this world. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um, you say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No! Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? 
Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not followed. Deal with this! Kill Kenway for a better cause. Together. You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid. Wait. Jim, stop. Keep your nutty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take Prince. Got that? you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. Uh, there's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on.
see Prince before I do. Kill him, and there'll be a bit of coin for you. All right. Damn that. Jesus, is he all right? Slipped away from what I heard. Prince ain't too happy neither.
Ground. Please, I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads.
I'll make it all work. We're not losing that bastard. Over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs>
Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well. <laughs>